festivities and you know the rides and all that stuff yeah. so wait what ain't nobody give me no cotton candy I like cotton candy can somebody give me some cotton candy <laughs> no you keep the cotton candy <laughs> once again thank you so very much for spending your evening with us and um, for those uh, let me see show of hands is this your first time seeing us tonight yeah is your first time seeing us perform? Yeah? Okay. Well, I have a question. Where the hell y'all been? <laughs> so, what y'all been? Y'all don't have a CD player or anything? Like, like, I know, Yolanda. It's all good. It's all good. Well, Thank welcome, you for having welcome me, Yolanda. Welcome for the first time as welcome. And to Thank all of our repeat here. offenders. Thank you so much for coming back. And uh, we have to do the formal thing because it's, it's the right thing to do. So it allows us to introduce ourselves the right way. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the California State Fair. We are boys to men from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's go. And hey, guys, we only have one rule. And that's just enjoy yourselves, OK? Just have a good time. You've been having a good time all day. Let this night and this show be no exception. As a matter of fact, we're going to set the tone the right way. So everybody listen carefully. California State Fair, and I mean everybody even in the grassy knolls back there. Like, hello, how y'all doing? Okay, you can hear me. That's, per that's perfect. Okay, so check this out. Everybody back there, all the way to everybody up here, do us a favor. Look to your left. And then look to your right. If you do not know the person sitting next to you, can you please introduce yourselves? Come on, it's the energy we want. Shake your hand, make a friend. Cause this is the vibe that we want in every single Boys to Men show from here on out. Not only are we going to celebrate this music tonight, we're going to celebrate each other's existence tonight, alright? We're going to celebrate life tonight. So everybody here tonight, you
introduce everybody to one of my friends who's sharing this stage with me. He's the guy in the spotlight in the middle, okay? Now, I've been around a lot of great singers in my career, but I can confidently say that this man back here is one of the finest vocalists the world has ever seen, okay? And hey, for your first timers, if you don't believe me, How's the uh, quality of your line is I'm better? I'm gonna say his name slow because people screw it up. He goes by the name of Mr. Juan. Yay! Mars! Come on! Come on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys to men, was this man's brainchild. The story is, is he was going to the high school for creative and performing arts and he didn't really want to go there, so he created something he could come to, boys to men. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the mastermind of it all, Mr. Beacon. Thank you, last but not least, the guy over to my right. Doing all the talking tonight. This guy was single-handedly chosen for this group for one reason, one reason only. You heard with that tonight. Tonight, you probably hear one of the smoothest falsettos you ever heard on anybody on this guy. Right here. Give it up. For our boy, Mr. Sean. Stop it. Thank you so very much. Now we're gonna take all of our might be some of you guys' graduation song. So it's cool. If you know it, please feel free to sing along, all right? Once again, Mr. Wan Ye,
buffering, you know what I mean? It's doing really well out here. I know, I, I keep that in mind.
acting. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. I hope everybody should join the show. I'll have it a little bit better when I come on Saturday.
Surprise! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yes, you may be seated, please, please. We're gonna need your legs for later. Okay, I, I think that that part of the show deserves somewhat of an explanation. So here goes. Um, so about 10 years ago, Boys to Men, we were in the studio and we were recording an album. And that album was entitled, Collide. Thank you to the one person over here, I heard you. Appreciate you. We really used that dollar 25 cents. <laughs> Nonetheless, remember it like it was yesterday. Nate came into the studio and he was very adamant. Something must have happened the night before and he had some sort of an epiphany. He didn't know exactly how to express it, but when he came into the studio, it went a little something like this. He said, get the character. He said, hey, yo. <laughs> For this album, I think we need to do something different. We need to be more than just singers. We need to be artists and we need to express ourselves and express our musical, you know, our musical horizons and, you know, just do something different. I think we need to learn how to play instruments. Oh, shit, okay. Sean, right away. I'm gonna learn how to play the guitar. I said, you go ahead, Sean. Nate said, well, I'm gonna learn how to play the bass. And I said, okay, Nate, you go. He said, hey, yo, Juan. I said, what up? He said, you should learn how to play the drums. And I said, hell no. No, sir, no, sir. I don't have the time nor the patience. And I have one instrument to use every single night, and I try my best. Thank you, appreciate it. But nonetheless, it's time to rest. The next day, we came to the studio and they purchased their basses and their guitars. And I came in and all I heard was boom, bam, 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 boom, boom, bam, bam. And I said, okay, Lord, it's going to be a long haul. I get it. I understand. <laughs> Doing something different is going to be a long haul. But then Sean turned on YouTube and began to teach himself how to play guitar via YouTube. It wasn't clap worthy, not at all. It was not clap worthy. I swear, I came into the studio and all I heard was boom, bing, 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 bing. and I said, "Okay, Jesus, please break his fingers." <laughs> I promise, Lord, he can still sing without his fingers. But then I watched the man get better and better and better and better and better to what you are witnessing right now. And that—that that is clap worthy, right? It's clap worthy. Oh yeah. So, um, let me say something to you real quick, Sean, so you can understand, man. I want to thank you. I want to thank you and Nate, but I want to thank you for helping to expand Boys to Men's musical horizons, you know? Your diligence and your tenacity is unmatched to me, man. And I'm honored to be on the stage with you. Appreciate you. And um, I really, really think that if you reach deep down into your pocket of magic tricks <laughs> and show everybody here at the California State Fair exactly what you've been showing us for the past 10 years. Can you do that for us? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sean Stock. To a party 
and everyone turns to see this beautiful lady that's walking around with me. That's when she last me. Do I feel alright? And I say yes. I feel wonderful. so far. Okay, now again, to further explain, you know, what why he's talking about, if you haven't noticed by now, folks, you should notice that Boys and Men likes to sing covers, okay? We like to sing songs from artists that we grew up listening to or artists that we discovered as we got older, okay? Now that song, if you don't know, was originally performed, written, and, and you know, all of that by one of the greatest guitar players ever, one of my inspirations. He goes by the name of Mr. Eric Clapton. So this next song that we're about to do is another prime example of what we mean by inspiration. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And um, we come from areas in Philadelphia that are most commonly known by the natives as uh, the ghetto. Yeah, uh, you know, boys and men grew up in the hood. Now. The hood gets a bad rap. A lot of people think that the hood is all bad. It's not all bad. It can't be all bad when I guarantee you some of you, if you have a favorite singer, rapper, baseball player, basketball player, football player, doctor, lawyer, pediatrician, veterinarian, fireman, taxi driver, <laughs> nine times out of 10, those good people came from the hood. Okay? So the hood ain't all bad, folks. As a matter of fact, the hood actually is the birthplace of a lot of great That's music, right. rock and roll being one of them. That's right. And also, it was the birth of hip-hop. So I grew up when hip-hop was born. So I listened to the greats like Run DMC, and LL Cool J, you know what I'm saying? And even E-40 back in the day. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So listen to all those cats. And uh, we listened to, at least my mom, she would put on the records and she would play the likes of Barry White, you know what I'm saying, and DeBarge, and those guys, right? And then we would go visit grandma and grandma, 
right? They would play their, uh, you know, era music too, which was Motown, Smokey Robinson in America, The Temptations, Marvin Gaye, The Jackson Five, you get it. So all of the soul music that I just mentioned is in us, okay? It's all in us, right? Fast forward to the high school and for creative and performing arts where we all met, and uh, they introduced us to music that wasn't played in the hood. Composers like like Mozart, you know, other names that we couldn't pronounce. But <laughs> when we heard the music, we found out how beautiful it was. It was so beautiful to us. And then in the midst of that, we found a correlation between Beethoven and Babyface. It connects, trust me. So now our minds are blown. So we go back home and we turn off, you know, the black station every once in a while. We mosey on down the dial to the pop station. Now the pop station, folks, uh, was most known in my hood uh, as uh, the, uh, the the white station. Yes, Steve Michelle and Philly. Yes, Jessica. We're friends, we can talk like this, right? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, so we would switch to the white station, and I'm, I'm sorry, white people. There were some songs that we just did not like. Nope. This one not live. But there was one song that was played on the pop station that we all agreed was one of the most beautiful songs ever created and coincidentally it was done by a bunch of white boys now here's the reason why i'm telling you this long story okay boys to men is a definition for growth okay and we grew we don't care what color you are how old you are how young you are where you come from where you going we don't care if the music is good then the music is good period and guess what Guess what? Guess what? I know you guys feel the same way. You know why I know? Because as I look out, I see a patchwork of people. I see black. I see white. I see Asian. I see young. I see old. I see everybody, okay? And we're all on the same vibe tonight. So it goes to tell me that I know that you feel the same way about this song as we do. So, with that being said, folks, I hope your voices are warmed up. Because I guarantee you that once we get to this chorus, not all of you, but some of you are going to have your hands up. Reach up real high, sing the chorus with us, no matter how bad you sing. <laughs> and the song goes a little something like this.
Thanks to the man back there that was duetting with me, bro. Yeah, you, man. Good job, bro. You had the arm be arms and everything. It was it's all in the arms, bro. So everybody good? When we write about that song, put out a great record. Now, okay. Now, we're going to sing some songs that we like to call the Boys Two Men Classics. <laughs> you, you can tell the, the impatient ones. They were sitting there, like, especially the women. They got, I love y'all. Y'all sitting there like, <laughs> I wish you just played my song. <laughs> okay, darling, we're going to play it for you now, okay? So, since you guys are all excited and whatnot, why don't you guys get up out of your chairs? Yeah, you look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much better. So much better. Okay. Now, everybody, and that's including all of you guys, grassy and old people, put your hands in the sky. Both of them. Both of them. Come on. Everybody now. Very nice. That's beautiful. Now, follow us. Very nice. Take it easy. Easy. Now, don't hit your neighbor. Step two, it goes like down. And a hey, down. Someone's like, listen, you put your hand up on my head. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. <laughs> now let's see. Can you recognize this here voice of Ventu? Okay. Oh, you can stop snapping now. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Didn't even talk anymore. No. Didn't even know what we are here about. We didn't tell our people more. No, no, no. Say it how it feels. Oh, girl.
you guys come after 32 years but I'll tell you this you don't even have to let us know keep it to yourself but all I will tell you is we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts thank you very 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 much thank you. now we're going to try a song that uh, we uh, don't do a lot but tonight we're going to try it and it's one of those songs that you guys made very very successful for us and uh, it's a song that we normally do with a uh, Another artist, and um, unfortunately, she's not here tonight. So, it's a song we think you guys might know all the lyrics. Another so, tear drop is coming. We're gonna need you guys to help us sing it as loud as you can one time. Let's try. Here we go. Thank you. 
Did you guys have a good time tonight? So thank you very much. Again, uh, we've been thanking you a lot this, this entire show because we need to. Um, going through a lot, the door Mr. a lot. Mr. Oates, like Raider, hello, welcome. But it's nice to know that, uh, let's be honest, some of you we've seen Hi, before, Marvel, Marvel some of you we've never seen King. before. But it is nice to know that we can all get together with one common mind and with one common energy. This is pr common proof. This is proof positive, folks, that if we really wanted to make the world a better place, we actually could. Let this be an example. Let this be an entire example. Don't feed into the mess. When you say that we can't get along with this person or that person or whatever, there was not one fight, there was not one argument. As a matter of fact, I've seen people singing together with strangers. I've seen people's hands in the air with strangers. Strangers. But I hope tonight all of you have made a few friends and you take away something from the show that you didn't expect. That's our job. Not just to sing the hit records, but to give you something that you didn't expect to leave with. So we hope that we did that, and we hope that you enjoyed that, okay? 
So, once again, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And again, like Nate said, it's 32 years, right? Let's make it another 32 years together. How about that? Cool. So, Boys and Men has one last favor, though, that we need from you. It's really, really simple. We need everybody to remember. That's it. Just remember where you were, what you were doing, and who you were doing it with. I'll let that dangle a little bit. <laughs> the first time you heard this, man. Yeah.